Growing concern about avian flu now spreading to marine mammals, and a new study says that increases the potential risk for humans. Health reporter Stephanie Salt joins us now with more on those connections. Lots of connections here, guys. Well, first of all, we should tell you that the danger to humans right now is low. But as long as the avian flu is spreading to other animals, there is a risk, a risk that it could spread to people. And that's why scientists say close surveillance is necessary. Dying elephant seals on the coast of western Argentina are linked to the H5N1 virus, known as the avian influenza. It's been circulating in birds for decades. Last year's sky-high egg prices were due to a 2022 outbreak that affected 58 million chickens in the U.S. alone. Researchers say there have been cases where the virus spread from infected birds to mammals. Now researchers fear it may be moving from one mammal to another. I, I think it's quite likely. Now there's a push to do better tracking of viruses and animals to protect humans. This avian influenza outbreak in the last three years has been the, one of the largest threats to wildlife globally. We just can't wait for it to hit human populations. We need to be working upstream to look at what's happening in these wildlife populations. The risk remains low, but experts say the virus is changing quickly. We really need to be on it to see, is the virus acquiring new traits that could be create a problem for us humans. Back in Argentina, experts estimate last year there were 18,000 dead seals, most of them pups. More than 95% of the seals born in 2023 in Argentina did not survive. Someone described it as apocalyptic. This kind of mortality is completely uh, new for us. Now scientists everywhere are being urged to watch for signs the avian flu could be spreading. And the CDC says people who work closely with birds might be at an increased risk and should take extra precautions. This research is evolving, so we will continue to keep you posted on this. Well, one. thank you for that. All right, Stephanie, thank mm -hmm. you.